All right, so we've had about three weeks so uh, with uh, the dashboard updates, um, and I want to talk about those. <clears throat> so uh, let's see. Let's uh, first let's talk about Facebook on the 360. Um, it's a little leery and doubtful at first. I personally do not have a Facebook account. I don't use Facebook personally at all. Greenlight Gamers, however, does. Um, we have our own uh, page and. Uh, you know, so, um, which is run by uh, our uh, impure queen. What's up, Eileen? Props for taking such good care of the page. Um, I asked her if I could use this, the sign-on for uh, a little experimenting. Uh, so uh, she, she did, and uh, I've been using it. And uh, it's not that bad. You know, it's basically essentially Facebook at its core. You don't get any of the Mafia Wars or any of the games, which apparently a lot of people enjoy because... Um, when I look at people's profiles and uh, stuff that they're doing, that's all they're doing is playing Mafia Wars in Farmville. Um, you know, supposedly, who knows, that might be coming to th the 360 integration in the future, but right now it's not. But um, it's, uh, again, it's Facebook at its core. You, it's being social. You can post comments and, you know, you can look at your friends' um, photos and stuff and their profiles and, you know, would say whether you like something uh, that they talked about and, and all that stuff and you know Xbox has uh, its own page and it sends you updates uh, frequently and uh, you know it's again just another way to, to be of uh, Xbox Live bringing more of a social experience to the console and that was one of the things that really um, the 360 and X, uh, Xbox Live have been doing since the beginning um, is just bringing people together you know they bundle the mics in with every console <laughs> now many people might think that that's a bad thing but you know I mean it's it's communication you know it's you know it's ways for people to communicate and get together and talk and speak and you, you meet people online you know I that's one of the great things about Xbox Live was all the people that I met uh, um, all the gamers and stuff that I met through the through the platform you know and you know being able to communicate and talk to them was you know huge rather than typing which is you know kind of well now the ps3 has you know games that you know you can use uh, you can communicate and talk but anyway um ps3 um in regards to facebook the 360 version is better um because you are actually being more social and you know you're in you're you're actually the integration works much tighter and it's you're actually able to view profiles and stuff on your console. I mean, you can do that on the on the PS3 if you use the crappy browser. But in regards to the PS3 versus Xbox Facebook integration, you got to give it to the Xbox. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Then we go to uh, Last FM. Last FM is freaking amazing. Um, you know, you jump into the application. You can't really jump out of it. You can you can still send texts and you can actually um, while you're in a party, you can still use it, but you can't game while you're using it, which is kind of the only downside of it. But you jump into the application, type in a band name, um, it'll play you a song by that band, but then it's going to play you uh, uh, another band that fits in that genre or category that they think you might like. And, um, and this has been great because I have discovered so many obscure uh, death metal and metal bands that I normally would not have listened to. And uh, so, you know, it's a great way to um, find uh, different types of music and get into different types of bands. So, Last FM on the 360 is fucking awesome. Anyway, Twitter. Uh, Twitter is Twitter. Twitter was lame to begin with, and it's lame on the 360. I mean, you know, it's essentially instant messaging. I don't know. It, it, it's Twitter at its core. And it, Twitter was simplistic to begin with. I mean, Twitter, all you're doing is sending messages back and forth. And I've been seeing that a lot of people that are on my friends list, they use this thing quite a lot. You know, I, I mean, if you, I guess if you got the time. Again, I don't have a personal one. I'm using the Greenlight Gamers Twitter account. So, um, you know, again, just another way to be more social um, on, on the 360. The best part about the updates uh, this year was the Zoom Marketplace. The Zoom Marketplace is absolutely phenomenal. Streaming movies kicks ass. It's is now my preferred way of renting um, movies. I'm you know I have a Netflix account and I'm I'll probably continue to use it only because I want to keep the streaming of The Office and Dexter and all the awesome TV shows that they have and I, I'm gonna watch the entire Lost uh, um, you know um, tr uh, catalog again before the next uh, chapter um, opens up. 
So, um, streaming movies from the Zoom Marketplace, let's get back on track here, is absolutely f phenomenal. Um, I've used it three or four times. I haven't had any buffering or uh, hiccups or anything like that. The movie hasn't been delayed and um, I don't I don't do the 1080p because I don't have that great of a connection, you know, so I'm only on DSL. But the, you can do it in standard and it works absolutely phenomenal. So um, I, I get what Microsoft is getting at. This is what they want to do. Um, this will be a great money maker for them because you know again you don't have to leave the house and this was something that I mean even my my old lady was just like oh my god I showed her how to use it I showed her um, what it does and she thought it was the greatest thing even so much so that I mean she's actually even said to me why are we even bother with HBO um, if we're gonna have something like this all the time we can just um, you know watch movies this way and the same thing with the Netflix she goes we have Netflix on you know the 360 and the PS3 uh, and what's the point of having HBO? I mean, we could cancel the premium channels and just use the on-demand stuff. Um, and if that's what Microsoft was uh, trying to accomplish, um, I mean, it's, here it is. I'm 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 down for it. I'm ready to just go completely into that direction. I mean, I have a lot of movies. And I, you know, I paid a lot for those movies. I got about 300 movies there. That's just one small section. Um, but, you know... You know, in this economy and the way things are, I really, I haven't bought a lot of movies lately. And, and um, you know, plus it's storing them and everything and just, you know, I mean, you can actually, and the thing, on the, on the Zoom Marketplace, you can buy movies too. Like, I saw Iron Man, I think Transformers and Drag Me to Hell. These are all movies that you can, you can purchase them and I you can use them on your, on, on the Zoom um, player. So, I mean, you know, who cares about deleted scenes? And director's commentary and all that extra crap, you know. I mean, really, when was the last time? Everyone always talks about, oh, well, you're going to lose out on the deleted scenes, boo-hoo-hoo. When was the last time you actually listened to the director's commentary on one of your uh, DVDs or watched, you know, you watched the deleted scenes, what, once? You know, or, 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 you, uh, or, or you know, who cares about the movie trailers that, that it gives you? I mean, maybe later on this will be something that they can work into, um, you know, the streaming, you know, the deleted scenes and extra content. I'm sure it's going to happen eventually. But, you know, streaming and uh, on-demand service, absolutely phenomenal. Again, and like I said, you know, I showed it to my old lady and she thought it was absolutely the greatest thing on the planet, you know, it's in regards to how to get movies. You know, she thought Netflix was cool when we started getting them in the mail and not having to worry about, um, you know, the lay fees. And, you know, and then once I showed her how to do the, the streaming uh, for the TV shows, I mean, she, I think she uses it more than I do. And, um, so, you know, Microsoft is definitely headed in the right direction uh, as far as that's concerned. You know, um, the only downside is right now is that there's not a lot of content on there. Like, you, you go on there and there's only maybe a handful of movies and... You know, that's got to change. You know, if Microsoft, you know, eventually I'm sure they're going to build this library. And, you know, but, I mean, they really just have to, that's the only thing right now is that I could probably watch everything that's on there inside of, like, you know, a week. <laughs> but as far as the updates on the dashboard, you know, um, it's def not exactly um, all game related, as a matter of fact, but it is something that has helped the console evolve. And I that's what Microsoft was... Uh, um, was get was trying to accomplish well, along with uh, more revenue streams. <laughs> I mean, it's all about money, and you know that's that's what it comes down to. They're looking for ways to get more money out of us, and you know what? We're willing to pay. You know, we have you know we have our subscriptions, and we're willing to pay for it. So, you know, whether it's buying a freaking avatar pet, or you know, renting a movie, or games or movies on demand, or you know, or music, because you can buy music off the Zoom Marketplace too. I mean, this is what they want to do. They're building, you know, a structure and, and a, you know, and a revenue stream for themselves. And you know, we're and we we could either jump in and you know and be a part of it, or you know, or you don't have to be. Sony's gonna do the same thing. They're they're gonna have a premium uh, uh, setup uh, probably next year too. How it's gonna work, I don't know. But you know, I mean, they're 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 seeing that there's money being left on the table, and that's the direction that they're going. So, I want to say what's up to all the Greenlight Gamer uh, members, the community, the forums, everything. What's up? Peace out.